it's time for our lab activities with Kepler's Laws. We'll begin by taking a piece of string, cutting it approximately 22 centimeters long. We're going to tie that into a loop. It's best if the knot is as close to the end as possible. We'll need three pieces of paper, a couple of push pins, and some cardboard. A ruler will be provided in exchange for your famed photo ID. And in using that cardboard, we ask that you not give us any cryptic messages. Please don't use the push pins to poke anybody, poke yourself, or poke our cardboard other than was intended. Otherwise, why, I'm sure we have arrangements for beaker duty after school. Okay, we're going to begin by drawing two dots near the center of our paper, two centimeters apart. On our three sketches, we've been instructed to draw them two centimeters apart seven centimeters apart and it says nine to ten but I'll tell you that nine works better. Once I've got this all mapped out I'm ready to go. Amazing. These are just a few of the designs that can be made with Spirograph by Kenner. Change wheels, change color. Make a million multicolored designs, each so beautiful your eyes won't believe what your hands have done. Spirograph by Kenner. So much fun you'll never want to stop. Spirograph, the world's most fascinating new toy. Put the push pins into the paper where F and F prime have been located. You're going to grab the string that we've already knotted together, place this around your push pins, stick in your pencil. This works best with a pencil. Draw as you would a, there used to be a game called a spirograph. Draw this shape take the push pins and the string away. You're going to label your diagram exactly as the sketch on the lab with F, F prime, V, V prime, W, W prime, and O. And that's it. If you show the formula for eccentricity on each of your three sketches and show your calculations, it'll make it much easier to answer the questions contained in the lab. Put all three diagrams, one right next to the other, and it'll be a snap. 